Welcome to this Fruity Shoots tutorial, where we'll show you how to fold an iris parachute. This is the same method we use when preparing to ship our parachutes to customers. You will need your parachute, a rigger jig, and weights. For this tutorial, we used a 96 inch diameter iris ultra compact parachute. Before you begin, set up your rigger jig. Lay the parachute on the table. The side of the canopy with the Fruity Shoots label should be on the left half of your work area. Lengthen the shroud lines and connect the quick link of the bridle to an anchor point. This can be any heavy immovable object, like a chair or a table. This will help with lengthening and organizing the lines. Check if any of the lines are tangled. If so, detangle the lines prior to continuing. Take the left and right groups of lines into separate bundles and guide them with the center pull down up to the skirt of the canopy at the rigger jig. Set the left, center, and right groups of lines into their respective slots in the jig. Close the gate over the lines and apply moderate pressure while tightening the screws. Move your anchor point back until the lines are taut. If needed, add extra weight to your anchor. Find the gore or fabric panel with the label. This is the first gore. Pull the seams taut through the center and pull the gore out towards you so it lays flat on the table with the seam running up the center of your work area. Take the next gore, pull it over the first, and match the seams so they're atop one another. Then pull the rest of the panel out and smooth it on top of the first panel. Repeat this step for half of the total number of gores in your parachute. In this case, we're using a 12 gore parachute, so we'll organize and smooth six panels on each side. Once you complete one side, weigh down the fabric and repeat this process on the other side. Remove the weights. On each side, fold in the outer edge of the gores, then further fold the canopy into thirds. Use the weights as needed to hold the fabric in place. The parachute should now be a rectangle. Disconnect the lines from your anchor point and remove them from the rigger jig. If you want to pack your parachute into a deployment bag, you can stop here and move on to our other video showing how to pack a deployment bag. The link is in the description below. If you want to store the parachute, continue by folding the canopy into itself in quarters toward the shroud lines. Then Z fold the lines and secure them with tape. And now you're done. If you found this video helpful, leave a like down below and subscribe to see more UAS recovery tests as well as demos and tutorials. To learn more about the Iris Ultralight and Ultra Compact parachutes, as well as our other parachute models, go to fruityshoots.com or check out the links in the description below.